Hey guys, it's Morpheus, and we're back for some more Canarium to find out what's happening in this horror-filled environment. Trying to figure out exactly what's happened to us, to this area where all of the people were like, there's no one. This place looks completely abandoned, and we left um, a cafeteria a little while back, uh, or better called a canteen. Uh, canteens are generally called such, uh, in, like in military terms. Uh, I'm former military, by the way. Uh, served uh, in the army from 1992 to 1999. For any of you that just want to know that little tidbit, <laughs> uh, but we came, uh, we left, last left off. Excuse me. Uh, that mysterious figure went in there, uh, so we have the option of going down there or going to the bio lab. Um, and just because it's you guys, I'm going to go in here and risk it all to see what happens. Uh, see, and I don't know if following him is what we should be doing. It looks like some, a generator of some kind. There's nothing else in here to interact with. Open this door. This leads to another elevator. What does this say? Link elevator has been set up. It can now reach both the tower and bottom levels below the base. Camp equipment and parts for the portable submarines are being transported to the first campsite. Tower base cavern entrance. Okay. Tower base cavern entrance. Okay. We need we need a handle. It's like I need something to get this elevator to right. work. Yeah, we need a handle to get that moving. So it looks like we're going to the bio lab and our mysterious friend has disappeared on us again. We can't. We can never see his face, though. Um, it's just like a. It's just a silhouette. All right, let's go in here. What? What is, what is this? Are these those mushrooms? Close that back. Like I can't. I can't take anything from. The, I can't close the door. I can't in interact with anything in there. Okay, so clearly we are going to be able to open that somehow. What do we have here? Found a little bit of or an origin of, okay, here we go. Dr. Fa uh, Dr. Foss is a very tight-lipped, oh, it's very tight-lipped about how he came up with that strange exploration device he built long ago. The only thing he has told me is that he came across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, these sources do not hint that any existed on Earth except in the dreams of those who like to chew a certain al uh, alkaloidian herb. The sessions, we, the sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous systems to the alien impulses of the machine were frightening at first. If used too much, it affects the body to a breaking point. But now I'm used to it, uh, used to its non-human sensations. I've started to feel like the device is clearing my mind to, to make it absorb much more than ever before. I feel unconfined and much more receptive. But the most peculiar aspect of the sessions are that, are that because it is a shared experience, I'm able to receive impressions, ideas, and even memories which belong to other participants. Usually my mind wanders after the sessions in and I cannot focus my thoughts until I have slept for several hours. That strange device surely disorients feelings and bodily functions, but I believe that what it offers is of immense importance. Okay. What is this in the... Did we see this before? Was that in the air before? And I just didn't pay attention to... What is this floating? What? Guys, what is this? Okay. Uh, let me let me check these drawers really quick. Okay, nothing here. What is this? What is this? It's just a tube? Okay. Phonograph cylinder. Up, oh, close that. Close that. Let's check that bottom one. Nothing. Okay. We got lots of things here. Clearly, this is significant somehow. Not sure exactly how yet. There's a lot of reading in this game. Um, 
is this? I'm not sure, I'm not sure what this is. Um, which I don't mind doing. I hope you guys don't mind either. Um, I just want to make for a complete gaming experience. Um, and I think it's important to read the, the information that you come across um, because it'll help you better. <gasps> oh, God. Man. Whoa, that scared the crap out of me. We've heard them t talk about this cat. I'm, I'm not going to interact with it just yet. This is so strange. So strange. New comp site was established waiting for new new campsite. Excuse me, was established waiting for new samples. This, these are the pyramids. You guys doing an excavation? Okay, what is this? There is a problem with one of the freezers. I've labeled it. It must be checked immediately. Okay. What is, oh, this is that, okay, let's, let's do this first. If there's anything we can do. Like, how, how ironic is this? This must be the freezer they're talking about. But I, I can't do anything with it right now. Can we do anything with this? <sighs> we have that handle. Let me, let me do this first before I do that. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, was found dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. Cause of death is currently uncertain, but judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area. Dr. What? Barlow, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen, belonging to the living samples of the plant Zahiti, which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post-mortem examination on his body soon. Okay. Is that is that what this is floating in the in the air here? I'm I'm guessing I'm pretty sure that's that's it. Lock. Can't open the, okay. Let's go ahead and open this guys. This is that plant. What? Whoa. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have done that. I can't breathe. Can we get to some air somewhere? I can't get out. I feel like we're, we're, it's almost like we're losing consciousness. What, what is happening? What are we hearing? I cannot get out. Guys, I'm freaking out. I'm hearing something, but I can't. I can't determine where it's coming from. What? Did that cat just get... Guys, my light is hardly working. What is, what is happening here? I can't interact with you. You're making me go to this cat. Oh, man. What? My heart is beating. What is this place? I don't remember checking these drawers. Okay, there's nothing in any of them. I can't close that bottom one. What in the world? Did that just make me see things? Is that what that was? Okay, I can't I can't go in there. Like it is completely dark in here.
No, no. What? 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 What the? Guys, what the heck just happened? What? What just happened? Why is my beat, my heart racing? It's calming down. Okay. What in the world is going on? I don't know that all of these there is someone on the ground here who is this who is this it's impossible to determine with so much decomposition key A key to what though what is this an anonymous note. We have finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for a soul to see it again. Situated within the circular be, uh, building we reached with the leak elevator. That magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris and most uh, probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast contemplating the gigantic stonework inside of those uh, time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Just thinking about its age sends shivers down my spine. Which civilization could have constructed such grandeur, now waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters? Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols resembling the rock arts of the Sahara Desert in south, Southeast Algeria. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything, but Cornell Blake uh, clings mostly to con uh, continental drift theory. But in any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but it is e uh, evident that history needs to be rewritten yet again. Okay, we have a key. Um, some of these I can interact with some of these I cannot. Uh, I think I want to try the one that looks the most visible first. Well, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Pre-human? What does that oh, mean? Yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Oh, I just want to make yes. sure he's saying the same thing. Okay. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Now, we need to find out where this key goes. Does it go here? Yes. Okay. What is happening? Why is the screen... Why is the screen doing... Uh. <gasps> what is this? And why are we freaking out? What? What? I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. You should retire to your room. I... I'm going to think a bit more. Um, I, my light does not work in here? Is this, is this like some type of altered dream state? Because it's like our, our visibility is, uh, shortened a bit. Why do we have human skulls in here? I'm not going to touch that again. I think that will warp me back. What is this? This is like uh, some uh, some mappings. Uh, is, is this like the Earth stretched? I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, this is. Oh, uh, this is of the the, the poles. I think uh, Antarctica, the south, north and south poles. Nova et Integra, uh, Integra Venerse Ober Descripto. I'm not sure what language that is exactly. We can't even read that. That's in a 
some language I can't understand. And this, Agartha, Antarctica, uh, excuse me, Antarctica, the southernmost continent and site of the South Pole, is a virtually uninhabited ice-covered landmass. Most cruises to the continent visit the Antarctic Peninsula, which stretches towards South America. It is known for the uh, La Mer Channel and Paradise Harbor, striking iceberg flank passageways in Port Lockroy, a former British research station uh, turned museum. The peninsula's isolated terrain also shelters rich wildlife, including many penguins. The rest of the text is ineligible. Agartha, some markings on the Antarctic map. Yeah. Are these, I'm guessing these are points of interest? I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, we're not going to touch that again just yet. We are going to go to this door. Yeah, see, like my, my vision... Y'all, please stop playing, guys. This is this isn't fun anymore. It's it's not fun at all. Can I get around here? What what is this? Is this a door? A door to what? Or was this something someone was lit? I'm not even I'm not even going to give that a thought. Not at all. What what is this? There's a person laying down with a. I'm not even sure if that's a monkey. I have no idea what that is. What are th what are these images? Okay. What? Where 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 are we and what is going on? Like right right now I can't there's something buzzing in there. I'll I'll, I'll come back, because um, yeah, I just I don't I don't want to go in there right now. I'm hearing noises. Locked. Can't get in there. It's locked. Can't get in there. You your guys are gonna force me to go back there, aren't you? Oh. Uh... Locked. Like this does like when you when you pull on the doors. If it's locked, it does kind of like this little vibration thing. Um, but the way it does it is so subtle that it's like it just it just messes with you. It's locked. Okay, I just had to check. There's some there's something in there. But yeah, that little that little uh, subtle shake just it it messes with you. I know it, I know it doesn't seem like it. You just have to feel it for yourself. What is that? No, 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 I don't, wait a minute, wait, let me out, no, 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 what, what is this? I hear myself breathing, this controller shaking like crazy, I, I can't do anything. What? What is, what is happening? Did we look at that? Journal has been updated. Uh, is this it? Okay. Well, I, I, I'm sure we're just journaling uh, our experiences here. Lots of... Look, the Antarctica. There's a lot of maps uh, regarding Antarctica. What is this? This is the this is that uh, that handle to the elevator. Let's open this. Anything? Yes. I'm sorry. What is this? Golem? Somewhat somewhat humanoid in form. These sculptures initially reminded us the terracotta army sculptures carved as a funeral art. Funerary. Funerary art, excuse me, buried with the first emperor of China to protect him in the afterlife. But judging by the writings on some of the uh, bass reliefs, now we believe that these wooden puppets or golems were used to carry out some tasks for their masters, just like the Egyptian 
uh, Ishu. Wait, I mean, I'm trying to pronounce this right. Ushubatsu, I guess. Uh, funerary figurines, which are the servants of their owner in uh, in the uh, hereafter. We saw the golems in several sizes. It was terrifying to see the huge ones sitting in silence on the carved and polished rock stools, as if waiting for a command. There are lots of gateways leading to dark and damp corridors that were mostly carved in ages past. Some of them were covered by a strange ivy-like, covered by strange ivy-like plants swaying back and forth, despite there being no external force to move them. They seem to come from levels below, creeping through crevices in the rock walls. To stop probable superstitious gossip amongst the crew, Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, personally started to examine them. The first submarine explorations revealed what was lying in the underwater caves. The most striking features were the structures with openings in them. Uh, like doors and windows, they made us wonder whether those caverns had been carved underwater or if they had been submerged at a later date and thus had become redundant to those who carved them. Man, what? Okay, we got a collectible. Uh, Antarctica, a, a scientific historical timeline of unoccupied uh, continent. Brown University Press, 19, uh, 1982. All right, uh, Deversay, Deversay. I keep wanting to say Shay. The legendary drink of the oldest myths. I heard about that elusive mixture decades ago when I was writing my thesis on uh, Salvia Divinorum, also known as the Sage of Div uh, Diviners, uh, an ethiogenic plant used mostly in religious and shamat uh, shamanic ceremonies. For centuries, no one could, ga could gather any information about it other than its legendary mystical uh, psychoactive properties. In some sources, it was a drink of the gods, while in others, a key for opening gates to places that lie beyond the conventional human senses. The soul bridge to be passed in order to leave the bodily restrictions of the flesh. Most scholars would kill even for a hint about one of its lost ingredients. That's something I was on the lookout for throughout my career. A new formula is forming in my mind, I feel like there's a chance for me to produce, if not the original, then a variant of legendary mixture, uh, Deversay, with the new clues I have uncovered uh, during my work here. And I think this is just, I don't think we can, pronunciation of the Xiases. Okay. So we've gotten everything we can get out of here get my light back. Thank you. Okay. And I don't think there was there was nowhere else we could go. Depot? Can we not go in here? This was stuck. That's locked. Okay, let's head back over to the other that other area where the elevator is. Not you, but here. What, what is this noise? Why does it do that? Uh oh. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm trying searching to the only way. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Damn it. Who was he? I, I don't know. This conversation has been added to your journal. Okay. Uh, which way do we want to go, guys? Up or down? Let's, let's try going up. <laughs> Bell hop! <laughs> Let's see where this leads. I'm only going up because this is where we came from originally, but I want to see. Um. 
Um, do, do I want to go down here? So, okay, so give me one second, guys. So, all right, did we, did, did they create a lab around this excavation? I, I'm guessing that's what they did, which is why I think I've heard them refer to it as a camp a couple of times. So, this lab or this camp sits right in or around whatever this discovery is. Um, I just know, like this is not, this, I don't think in any way, shape, form, or fo uh, fashion, this is human made. What is this? I found an ornament metallic object, ornamental metallic object. What is what is that? Can I get around it? It's like it's it's hey, this is amazing. What? Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. Well, if you're not sure, I'm not sure. Sure. He just disappeared. I, I see what he's saying, though. See, here, it's like this is like an entire civilization or something with this pyramid in the background or in the center of the city. And then over here, as he said, there are lights affixed to this one central location. I'm, I'm, I'm really just kind of thrown here, guys. Like this here, I have no idea what this is. What, what is this? Oh, it's, but where is it? Where is it shining to? So this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. This is so strange. Absolutely crazy. This is... Now I see... There's something... And I can't interact with this, but you see this groove on the floor. I don't know if that's significant somehow. Um, but it does not look like there's anything else we can do in here. Uh, so we're going to head back. And there's nothing else to interact with either that I can tell. I can't interact with any of these carvings or anything. I do have this device though. Let me let me look at. Uh, let me see. No, not that. This uh, a heavy a heavy metallic object. Judging by its shape, it could be a key, a handle, or a lever of some sort. Okay. We're heading back downstairs, or down, further down than where we were already. Oh man, the door didn't even close. Just solid rock and earth. I imagine we're gonna stop back at that same level before us, we have to go down again. Yep. So we need to go down a second time. What is this? 
there's another there's another light source here and I'm guessing we, yep we can take that I'm sure um, but I tell you what guys I'm gonna take a break here um, man I, I'd love to hear from you guys what do you think do you uh, for any of you that have seen amnesia it sounded like someone running am I wrong any of you that have seen the game Amnesia, The Dark Descent, or Machine for Pigs, does this remind you of that a little bit? Um, it it kind of does to me, just like with the items that you find, how you open the drawers. Um, just this 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 really f futuristic, like, technological, fine stuff. It's hard to explain, but... Uh, I just if you wouldn't mind in the comments below just let me know what your thoughts of this game is uh, this thought this game is thoughts of this game that you have are <laughs> uh, let's have a dialogue about it I'd love to hear what you guys think um, but you can be rest assured that you're going to see a lot more of this uh, when we come back we'll grab this axe and read this note um, and check out this next light source and uh, I guess go from there guys so uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, this is I Am Morpheus and uh, do me a big favor, subscribe if you enjoy watching my gameplay, if you enjoy the listening to my voice as you play, I mean as I play, <laughs> uh, and if you just dig overall my channel. Alright guys, taking a break, I'll be back soon. Later.